watching the port for here watching the ships go by hi my name's Jessie Lloyd and I'm an Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander musician and I run Mission Songs Project and I want to talk to you about the song Port Ford Hill. See, in my travels around Australia, I went up to Darwin and I spent some time with a lovely old lady up there by the name of Annie Cathy Mills. And if you're familiar with the Mills sisters from Darwin, this is their mother. And she's a wealth of knowledge of Darwin history, the Darwin families and of a lot of Darwin songs. And she told me about the Sunshine Club. And it's where a lot of the Aboriginal families would go and socialise. And so would the Malay families and the Filipinos and the Italians. Very multicultural up there in Darwin. And there was a song that she told me about that they used to sing at the Sunshine Club. And I really like this song. It's a song called Port Fort Hill. And it's from the Second World War. And during the Second World War, there was a lot of action in Darwin. There was a lot of bombing. And during that time, the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander men used to stand out on the coast and keep an eye out for enemy spies or enemy ships. And I think they felt a lot of pride in their duty, and you can hear it in the song, because they weren't only doing their part to keep their families safe, they were doing their part to keep the whole town safe. And this song also has a dance. They used to do the shake hand dance at the Sunshine Club. So it's a real festive song and uh, sounds like it was a good night out. Hi, Sally Morris here. Um, I'm lucky enough to be um, on the project with Mission Songs for the last couple of years. I'm a guest backing vocalist for her. And during the story of Mission Songs and the show, I've learned so much about my history. I'm an adoptee and I found my family here in the Northern Territory 22 years ago. And my grandmother was stolen a generation from Borrelula. I'm here on the Ropenbar River. And it's absolutely stunning. And these mob were all related to us. So as I did the show, I learned more about our histories of stolen generation and people that were moved from their homelands. And it's about the songs that they sang while they were put into missions. So grandmother was taken from Borrelula to Darwin. She walked as an eight-year-old. It took four months. And she was put in a place called the Carlin Compound and she grew up there. Now she lost the ability to talk her language and know her songs. And during that time, as she grew up into a young adult, um, they started a group called Sunshine Club. So by then there was Retta Dixon in Darwin as well, and that was for the next generation that was stolen. And But they had this wonderful night out and it was called Sunshine Club. So when Jessie was doing the set, the first time I was singing with her, she said, Sunshine Club, and I, I, I looked really hard. And she looked at me, she said, Shelley, do you know that name? I said, yes, my grandmother told me the story of this wonderful club that they used to go, they'd get all dolled up, they'd put the lippy on. At the Sunshine Club, there'd be 11 guitars on stage and they'd sing songs that meant something to them. And in the show, the song's called Port Ford Hill. Now, a lot of the Aboriginal people that were from the Carlin compound or from Reddit Dixon were then used as soldiers to look out, watching the Port Ford Hill, watching the ships go by. And it just brings so much joy into my life and understanding a little bit more about my history, my grandmother's history, and I want to thank Mission Songs for all that you've helped me and taught me to learn about our history around Australia. Thank you. Watching the port for you, watching the ships go by, in case there may be something. Watching the port for here, knowing it's no use to sigh. There's eight more days to go before we get our leave. Watching the port for here, watching the port for here.
Watching the pot party, watching the shit.